हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज कोमल तो आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू अबाउट अ टॉपिक दैट हाउ टू अप्लाई द बुलियन सर्च इन द लेटेस्ट वर्जन ऑफ द नौकरी डॉट कॉम एज यू नो वेरी वेल रिसेंटली इन मार्च 2022 ट्वेंटी टू द लेटेस्ट वर्जन ऑफ द नौकरी डॉट कॉम है रिलीज सो इन दिस टॉपिक वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस दैट हाउ टू अप्लाई द बुलियन सर्च इन लेटेस्ट वर्जन ऑफ नौकरी डॉट कॉम यू आर रिक्वेस्टेड टू वॉच द वीडियो टिल द एंड देन ओनली यू विल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड इट वेरी वेल so friends if you are also a hr and want to start a career specifically into the recruitment so this video is only for you so friends now without delaying any more so first of all if you have not subscribed my channel or new on my channel so please click on the subscribe button press on the bell icon if you don't like the video like and share and comment also so friends now we discuss that how to apply the boolean search on nobody.com so in, we will see the live demo as well on the nokri.com first let's have a look at the definition of the boolean search we should know that what exactly is the boolean search then we will go to the nokri portal we will see the live demo that how we are using the boolean search or how we are applying the boolean search so here it is mentioned that boolean searches allow you to combine the word and phrases using the words and or bracket quotation note known as a boolean operator so what is what is mentioned here that boolean search basically allow us to combine the word and phrases by using the boolean operator generally there are five boolean operator but most commonly we use only the three boolean operator that is the and or and note these are the five boolean operator with the help of boolean operator we boolean searches allows us to combine the word and phrases and with the help of boolean search we can find the relevant resume limit resume broaden or define your search so this boolean search allows us to define our search broaden our search moreover it we find the limited resume but that limited resume are exactly the relevant as per our requirement so this boolean search somewhere like helps us to save our time as well so now let's jump into the live demo of the boolean search so friends this is our nokri portal you know very well so here this is the latest version that's why like uh, there are no, uh, there are there is only a single column of the keyword if you want to make a boolean search you only have to click on the boolean or boolean button now here we will see the operator one by one our first boolean operator is and let's see that how to use the and suppose that as per our requirement we need the resume candidate having experience mandatory on the angular and angular and java so as per our requirement in the job description it is mentioned that we need the resume candidate having experience on the java technology and the angular technology so and operator is used when two words are mandatory when the two words are mandatory so we have to mention those word so we have to mention and operator in between the two word so here angular is mandatory java is mandatory that's why i have put the and operator in between this word so and operator is used when the two technology two words are mandatory in the resume of the candidate so angular is mandatory java is mandatory once i click on the search resume search candidates you will find the resume candidate having experience in the angular technology and java so i have clicked on the search candidates you will see in every resume java technology is mentioned moreover angular also mentioned in every resume if i go at the bottom of the bottom of this page you will still find angular is mentioned java is mentioned because as per the boolean search i have mentioned i only need the candidates having experience in the angular moreover in the java so it is a very good operator we can use it like a, we can save our time by mentioning you know and operator if our requirement is that we need the resume having experience in both the word angular and java now let us discuss about the second operator that is a or 
So we have to be careful by mentioning the operator that we have to mention the operator only in the capital word. Like uh, it's good that if we mention the operator in the capital word, so we make our search more relevant. So all operator, as its name suggests, all means we need a candidate having experience either in the Angular or either in. Uh, let's remove this Java and mention the SAP. So SAP is also a technology. As per our requirement, now the now the requirement is we need a candidate having experience either in Angular and SAP. Angular or SAP means the resume will come the candidate having experience either in the Angular technology or the SAP technology. As its name suggests, or or means the means only having experience in one technology, one word. So that's why I need the resume having experience either in Angular or SAP. That's why I have mentioned the OR operator in between these two words. I hope this operator is also clear. Now, once I click on the search candidate, you will find the resume having experience in SAP or either Angular. Okay, one thing I also want to tell you, this Nobri portal is very, like, you know, very smart. First, it will give the resume. Once I mention the OR operator, still it will give the resume. First, its priority is to find the resume having experience in both the technology. Let's have a look. Once I click on the search candidate, at the initial page, in the initial page, it, this Nobri portal tries to find the resume candidate having experience in the Angular as well as in the SAP as well. In the first CV, you can see this candidate having experience in Angular and SAP. In the second resume, like also, this candidate having experience in Angular and SAP. But once I click on the second page, you will see only the resume will appear having experience either in the Angular or in the SAP. So this candidate having experience only in Angular because I have mentioned this operator or means need a candidate having experience either in Angular or SAP. Once I click on the modifier, I will go back to my search portal. So friends, I hope this uh, uh, operator is also clear that how to use the OR operator means when we need the candidate, when we need an experience or the candidate having experience in only in one word, only in one technology, then we can use the OR operator between the two words. Now, let's see the note. Next operator is note. So, friends, I'm just going to make a good search. Let's, let's, I have mentioned this. Huh? Okay, I'm going to mention that. Here, I'm just going to mention that Angular. I have mentioned the Angular developer. Or Java developer and Angular. Now I'm mentioning not then sad. So friends, this is a valid Boolean search. According to this Boolean search, first we are going to focus on this not operator. So not is used when we don't when we want to exclude the word from our resume. So I don't want the resume candidate having experience in SAP as well. So if I don't want any resume having experience in the SAP, then I can use the note operator. Basically, note operator is used to exclude the word. Note is not operator. It is very clear. Note operator is used to exclude the keyword. Whatever keyword I want, I do not want in the resume, I can keep it in the note. Just by mentioning the note, giving one space, then mention the word which you want to exclude. Okay. Now the resume will come. Can, okay. Let me now tell you exactly the this boolean search. Friends, according to this boolean search, what I have mentioned, our operator, you know very well when the candidate having experience only in the one word or one technology. So I have mentioned that candidate having experience in Angular developer or either Java developer. Resume will come candidate having experience, uh, candidate who is the Angular developer or who is a Java developer. 
नेक्स्ट ऑपरेटर इज एंड वेर आर द कैंडिडेट इज एंगुलर और जावा बट एंगुलर एंगुलर टेक्नोलॉजी इज एंगुलर टेक्नोलॉजी एक्सपीरियंस इज मैंडेटरी सो दैट्स वाई आई हैव मेंशन एंड बेन गिविंग वन स्पेस और मेंशन द एंगुलर ऑल्सो आई एम गिविंग वन स्पेस एंड मेंशनिंग द नोट देन आफ्टर गिविंग वन स्पेस आई हैव मेंशन द सेट सो अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस सर्च वी नी विद रिज्यूमे वेलकम either angular developer or java developer but angular technology experience is mandatory then i have mentioned note sap means the resume having word sap will not appear in our search friends let's click on the search candidate now you will see this candidate this resume is a this candidate is a angular developer as well as a java developer so Here are the Angular experiences also mandatory. So that's why in every resume you will find the Angular word is mentioned here. In this resume you have seen that only Angular developer is there. The candidate having experience in the Angular technology only. In every resume most of the you are finding that a Angular developer who has experience in the Angular technology. And the SAP, you will not find a SAP word in any resume because we have excluded the word SAP. I hope it is clear. Now let's click on the modify, and the next operator is the bracket. We call the parenthesis, uh, parenthesis, and next is the quotation. This inverted comma. So friends, this inverted comma. Let me remove this and. Tell you about the inverted comma. This is also an operator. This uh, this is called a quotation, and generally we spell the like uh, inverted comma. I have mentioned angular and developer. So this bracket, this inverted comma is used when we need the when we want the two word to combine word in the resume. Then we have to mention it. It is in the Bracket. It is in the inverted comma because if we do not mention the two word, if I want see why this is inverted comma used. If I want the resume having experience in the Angular developer, I need the resume by mentioning Angular developer exactly. Not Angular is mentioned in another keyword. I developer is mentioned somewhere else. Not like that. My requirement is Angular developer should be mentioned exactly in the resume. So I have mentioned it in the inverted comma. So this inverted operator is used when there is a gap between the two word. When there is a gap between the two word, but I want these two combined word exactly in the resume of the person. So we that's why I have mentioned it it in the inverted comma. So I hope it is clear that inverted comma is used when I want the two combined word together in the Resuming. If I talk about the bracket, I hope that the inverted comma doubt is clear. Now I am talking about a bracket. Bracket is generally like generally or simply used to reduce the complexity in the string. In this string, just to reduce the complexity, I have mentioned the bracket. Or inverted comma, as I have told that between the angular and developer. This gap is there. Suppose that if I don't mention the inverted comma between angular and uh, like, uh, if I don't mention the angular developer in the inverted comma, so this no reporter will get confused. It will appear the resume having experience either in angular or either in developer. It means it will take the angular and developer in a different different way. So that's why friends, if we want the Two words combined exactly in the resume, so we need to mention it in the inverted comma. And this bracket is generally used to reduce the complexity of the string. So according to this Boolean search, the resume will appear having experience either in the Angular developer or in the Java developer. Means the person will having uh, means the person who is either the Angular developer or the Java developer. Next, I have mentioned and operator. Then Angular means either the person is Java developer or Angular developer, but Angular experience is mandatory. Next, I have mentioned not SAP. 
So I hope friends every operator is clear now. Once I click on the search candidates as I have shown already, the resume is coming having experience either in Angular or Java or but the Angular experience is mandatory. No sad word you will not find in any resume. So friends, I hope this is clear now. Generally three operators are used that is and or note. Now friends, boolean operator, there are five boolean operator and or note parentheses and quotations. I have showed you the live demo of these operator. I am going to end this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a good day friend. If you like this video, please go click on the subscribe button, like and comment also. Have a good day friend. Thank you so much.